well I ended up getting the hitch out and then after that I drained the tank there was about seven gallons in there and then I got the tank out and that wasn't too bad it's just you have to use a wrench on a lot of it because you don't have a deep enough socket or I don't have a deep enough socket it's about four to five inches um, I noticed all the the fuel lines are very short so I'm gonna buy new fuel lines and uh, make them about a foot longer to give me some room to work with I'll just wrap them up a little bit uh, and tuck them out of the way so I still need to take out the rest of the nuts and bolts from the platform and get the galvanized steel out so I think this van was like a passenger van and there's a bunch of holes all over plus whatever the owner before me drilled into it so I've got a lot of patching to do and then figure out where I'm gonna go from there well we got the supports for the platform out there was about 20 nuts and bolts in there my wife helped me she was on top with the screw gun and I was crawling underneath with vice grips and a 7 16 inch wrench what a pain but it's out well this is what it looks like with all the supports out and I'm gonna take this rubber flooring this must have been original I'm not sure but that's coming out next time to get back started on the van again so I did replace the fuel pump that's in the tank because the gauge wasn't working well I replaced it there's only three hoses and one uh, electrical connection and the uh, sending unit worked so the gauge worked but the truck wouldn't run the van wouldn't run so they told me I've got a fa faulty fuel pump so I replaced it again and it did the exact same thing so what I'm getting ready to do now is there is a fuel pressure regulator right here I'm gonna take that out and it's got the fuel pressure going up and down and black smokes coming out and spurting fuel out of the top of the throttle body so I'm gonna try and get that sucker done and hopefully that's it because I really want to get this thing going I've got most of the paneling out of it done I need to take the stuff off the top the ceiling and get this thing rolling so I can start using it well the fuel pressure regulator was not the culprit so it's got a new fuel pump new fuel filter inline fuel filter new fuel pressure regulator it starts right up it smokes it idles rough and when I gas it it just bogs and chugs so I am stumped I'm gonna try and find somebody out here that knows the old-school stuff because this doesn't have the uh, port where you can plug the computer in this is where you have to turn the key off and on and count the flashes and try to figure out what it is so hopefully I can find someone out here where I live that knows a little bit more about this stuff well I got it to run the problem wasn't the fuel pump which I changed twice or the fuel filter which I changed once or the fuel pressure regulator which I changed um, what it was is there's three different size lines this is the inlet that goes to the fuel filter which also goes to the throttle body and this is the return which they're two different sizes and then there's another little vent right here it's just a vent on top which is the same size as the fuel inlet so I know exactly which one the fuel inlet was but under the van there's three different size lines there's a small one and two uh, like medium sized ones I knew exactly which one this one went to and I put the bigger one to the vent and the small one to the small one well for some reason it was wrong As soon as I changed this to the bigger one which I thought was the vent and the vent to this one it runs starts drives it's just chugging um, so it might be a sensor this is an OBD1 computer system on here so what you have to do is turn the key on and off five times and then count the flashes on the uh, check engine light and I've, I've done it myself and I had two different friends check it and one says it's a 3 and one says it's a 12 which is one flash then a pause and then two flashes well a 12 says that you have no readings because you've taken the battery off within 150 starts well I definitely did that so if it's a 3 it's an airflow sensor so that'll be my next step 
but it does run and drive and I can get started on the interior. So there's an update.